Hi everyone, Pat here to continue on our journey through the world of optics. Now we're gonna explore how the beginning of the manufacturing process starts. We talked to some engineers and some opticians and here's what we learned today. First, we'll connect with Brian on how manufacturing and optic all starts. So to start manufacturing an optic, it starts with having a drawing. It comes from a optical designer and our engineering team here at Optimax takes the drawing and looks at it, looks at the mechanics, and then from there, we then take that information, go to our production control team, and we start hitting up jobs and taking raw material and assigning that to make the optic. If you're wondering what happens when an optic enters into a cell, we take that material and we go through four specific processes. Generation, grinding, polishing, and metrology, and that produces a finished optic. And that's what we'll talk about and learn more next. The first process we mentioned was generation, and our team member Casey is going to walk us through that. Well, generating is a, an abrasive removal process. So you get your optic in it, a cylinder, like a water bottle cut into slabs and so what we do is we initially have to put the curve on it while maintaining our uh, radius which is our form and shape of the lens. We use uh, CNC style machines to generate optics. They're actually made locally in the Rochester area as well. The biggest challenges in generating would be the handling material. Glass is very brittle. It can always be removed and broken but it can never be re-put together or grow. So when you make your cut, it has to be really precise down to fractions of a human hair. Next up in the process is grinding, and our friend Julius is gonna help explain that. The purpose of grinding is to put a, a, a surface onto your optic that allows you to polish in a short period of time. Each, each job has a, a grinding tool that you use. It's either in the form of a cup concave or in the form of an upside down cup, a convex. Uh, depends on what type of um, optic you're manufacturing. Grinding can take up to two minutes, up to 15 minutes. A day here at manufacturing is when you have to be able to make decisions fast, being able to respond to everything that happens. You must be very resilient and uh, ready for anything that happens because you have to be the problem solver. You're either dealing with optics that are 20 millimeters in size, all the way up to 70 in size, and you must be ready and willing to do the job because you don't know what you're gonna be handed for the day. The third step in the process is polishing, and we're gonna to talk to our friend Jake. Well, polishing is the process where you take rouge, which is a very thin, like milky, watery substance, and you put the glass lens in a machine that the rouge flows over it and you use a pitch lap and it rubs on the surface across that. Pitch is a natural substance that is derived from pine tar. It's kind of like a goo, it's kind of like a molasses and it's, it's sort of like in a liquid state when you first use it and then you'll form it over a polishing body and it will harden and it'll become a solid and then you can cut into it and you can make different patterns into your polisher uh, to then use it on your part, on your glass lens. To polish an optic, it takes anywhere from a few minutes, five minutes, to a couple hours. It depends on the size. And the last step in the process is metrology, or measuring the optic, and we're gonna talk to Casey again. Metrology is defining things that our eyes can't see. Um, when we're dealing in percentages of wavelengths, fractions of human hair, you won't be able to see the difference between a part in spec or out of spec, so we need very advanced machines that use lasers, non-contact devices, and everything like that to measure every aspect of the part from the shape to the form to the irregularity to all the datums and dimensions. So we just learned how optics are manufactured in a lean manufacturing cell. Next, we're gonna talk about some specialty areas in the manufacturing process called finishing and 